I've got my brand new portfolio. Um, I've just logged in. I've got no assets or anything in it, and I'm just going to begin. Um, I've, I'm doing this from the point of view of a student, um, so I've been on a placement for a week, and I wish to uh, add the experiences for the past week. So what I do is go to create new. And it comes up with all these choices, um, a new ability, achievement, action plan, activity, experience, meeting, thought, more <laughs> blog, CV, profile, form, web folio. So which of these do I choose? So what I've done is create a table um, that lists these different kinds of things that I can put into my portfolio. So um, these are the features on the left here. Um, I might just make it a bit more visible. So the features are a title, tags, description, evidence and reflection. Um, and these I consider to be pretty important for any um, things I put up into the portfolio. The title just allows me to identify what it is. The tags allow me to find um, work that I've put up there. Uh, because the ePortfolio has a very flat file structure, you can't structure the information in it except using tags. And I'll show how that works later. Uh, description. Um, you want to describe it, you want to be able to add evidence, and you want to be able to have reflection. Now, so of the different kinds of things that you put up, um, you could have abilities, but I don't recommend it, because that's describing a current state, um, rather than what you've been doing. So, achievement meets all of these criteria. Um, activity doesn't. It doesn't allow you to put up evidence. It just describes what you've been doing. So it allows you to put in things like knowledge, skills, impact, start, finish. But it doesn't have an upload for evidence. Um, experience is a good one. It covers all of those. Plus it allows you to describe um, your uh, specified start and finish date and your activities. Action plan's no good, meeting's no good, thought isn't. Um, the other one is a blog. So a blog allows you to have, tag it, put in description, and you can attach files within the blog. So they're the main ones that I would recommend. And probably experience is the one that works best for me, um, but it's a matter of experimenting. So um, if we go back to the portfolio. So I'm going to create a new um, uh, experience. Um, so I'll call it my week one experience. Um, now I'm going, I need to tag it um, because tagging is the key to organising and finding my way around um, things that I upload to my ePortfolio. Um, so I'm going to uh, go into all tags and create some tags. Now um, one of the tags is placement, that's fine. But I have to add a few new tags. Um, so what I'm going to call it is uh, one of them is at the school. We'll call it School X. Um, another one is um, Week One. So all of the documents that I upload 
for this week will have these tags on them so that I can combine them all together. Um, okay, and um, so that should that should do. So my first week, um, I've, I've specified that these are the criteria I've met. Um, it's about a placement, it's at school X, it's at year um, oh, week one, um, year seven. And it's about maths, teaching maths. Okay. All right. So this is my week one experience and record of it. So there are a number of activities associated with this experience. I developed a lesson plan. I um, developed resources. I um, uh, formed the, I did the teaching. And I did evaluation. Um, I'll just call it ongoing rather than specifying dates, but I could have said dates. Um, Now here's where I specify the evidence. So I'm going to go to my computer and get the evidence. I need an external file. So um, so here's my lesson plan. I'm going to add some more information. So I've got four items linked. Um, it doesn't show them to me at this stage, but it tells me that I've put four items there. Um, now there's a reflection. In this reflection, I've talked about how I've addressed each of the dimensions of the um, that I'll be assessed on. So dimension one is about engaging students. So I've written about how I engage students and what the feedback said about it and how I might improve it to take myself to phase two. Um, the second dimension is about recording and reporting student outcomes or student performance. And again, I've looked at the feedback and uh, what I need to do to reach phase two. Um, dimension three is about professional development and again feedback and the challenges for reaching the next stage. Um, dimension four is about um, contributing to development of the school's um, program, teaching program. And the fifth dimension is about uh, working as a team. The fifth one is about um, were developing as a team, contributing to the school's teamwork. Um, so, so I've addressed each of those criteria there. Now, if I um, wish to come back on uh, at another week, I'll just add the next week's uh, information and so on, using the same process. Once I've finished and I wish to release it for my supervisor to view. I create a, a web folio. I tag it, as with all things. Everything has to be tagged. Uh, it addresses the criteria. Um, maths, placement, year seven.
Okay. Choose a template, that's fine. Now um, I have to add pages. So I wish I wish to add pages to my uh, web folio. So I click on tag and I say I want to add anything that's got week one in it and anything that's got week two in it. Okay. Um, I can view the page to see what happens. So when I view it, um, I see week one. So this is what it looks like. Um, right, we'll come back to that later. So what I'll do next is publish it to the gateway um, and then um, so and then uh, the next video will be how to um, uh, how to market from a teacher's point of view. So um, I'll so there it is there. I want to send it to a gateway. Okay, so I've gone to the only gateway that's available to me, which is the Education Test Gateway, and um, it's been published. So I can see the gateway, and there it is. So I'll stop this video now, and we'll look at marking it from a teacher's point of view.